My bees have been so hungry for food. I've been feeding them and feeding them, but every time it warms up, they'll go out there and they'll look for anything. Are your bees doing that? Leave a comment below if your bees are traveling everywhere desperately looking for some food this winter. <laughs> I mean, I felt sorry for them. So look what I've done. I laid out some of this protein powder, this pollen substitute, and I just threw it out on a piece of cardboard, put a little gear to weigh it down. Look at this one bee here. It's crazy. She's doing the backstroke. She's so excited about all of this protein that she can now just bathe in. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, look at this bee right here. She is just covered. You can't even tell it's a bee. And then when I was looking at the footage, I was like, what's going on with her? And look what happens. What is she doing? Is she okay? Yeah, look, she just rolls over and aha, she's trying to pick up a big ball of it and take it back to the hive. And then she just gets frustrated and shakes her wings off and flies away. She's going to be really welcome back at the colony because she's so covered with this protein powder that, man, they're going to love her. They're going to be like, Ooh, wow, you brought a lot back. <laughs> it's all over you. What's interesting, if you don't know this, this uh, protein powder is so dry, it's just dusty. You can see it being blown around by the bees fanning their wings. And so these small particles, let's call them grains, are getting picked up and the bees are actually putting them in their pollen basket. A lot of people think pollen baskets are actually baskets that bees use, but it's not a basket at all. In fact, I got my uh, camera out and I took a real close up here and you can see this is the area on the hind leg of the bee, of the worker bees, and this is called a corbicula. This is an area, it's a concave part of their back leg and it has long hairs on it. And these hairs allow them to pack away these pollen grains when they go to a flower. Now bees have to add some, maybe a little bit of nectar or maybe even some saliva that they will put in with this powder in order to sort of make it stick back there. It's kind of like a binding agent that they get it. And that's why if you look closely at the bees flying here, some of them look like it's a very, it's much more orange than the powder itself. It's kind of a wet look back on their back legs. That's because they've added either some nectar that they had or just their own saliva to make it stick a little bit better back on their back legs with those hairs. It's kind of an, uh, an area where the bees... Uh, carry this uh, pollen back to the hive. A lot of people get confused the difference between pollen and honey. When I was talking about this video to a friend, they were like, wait a minute, uh, are you talking about honey? They didn't understand that there's two things that bees carry back to the hive from a flower, and that's nectar, you know, the liquid sugary water from the nectaries of the plant. And then there's the pollen. Now this, the pollen is actually the part that the bees carry from flower to flower to fertilize those flowers. And there's extra, so they bring it back as protein to feed to the bees. Well, my bees are really hungry. They're really desperate right now. We're a few weeks away from that maple trees giving out that first uh, spring stuff. So right now I just threw some stuff out there and I love it. I love doing this. I've done this for years. And hey, if the bees want it, they're going to take it back and enjoy it. And it's a lot of fun using it like this. I sketched out the bee's hind leg, and I wanted you to see this area back here, known as a base of tarsus. This area is kind of concaved, and it's got these long hairs on it. And this is where the bees will work this pollen grain, or in my case, this protein powder. They'll work it with their other legs back, back here, and they'll pack it in and make it stick to this area back here. And you can see some of these bees have some very large uh, pollen that's just packed back here pretty heavily. It's kind of a cool thing that bees have the ability to carry all this. This is the same area, by the way, when bees are looking for uh, propolis, they'll actually put it right back here in that same area, known as the pollen basket. And it's so sticky, you know, propolis is, that when they get back to the hive, they have to ask their friends to, hey, would you get those sticky stuff off my legs? <laughs> it's just too much they can't get off. They'll go to a place where they need some propolis deposited, and the bees will just help pull it off their back legs. I had so much fun filming this. At first, I got my regular lens on my camera, and I just started filming 
filming it and I brought it back in and looked at it and it wasn't that, you know, wasn't that spectacular. So then I changed my frame rate and I put a cinematography lens on my camera with an adapter. Oh my gosh, this was breathtaking to watch because it slowed the bees down uh, at, so we could see them fly a little slower because you can imagine it's it's hysteria if i had it at full speed uh it would just be crazy let me put it at full speed right here and you can see how just chaotic it is bees flying but if you slow it down and look at them they look so peaceful so graceful there's a few times bees have bumped into each other but you know they don't really care but they just navigate this big pile of protein powder so beautifully and gracefully it's just beautiful to watch all of these beautiful bees working and it made me feel good because as i went to, uh, th throughout all my hives uh they're very healthy it only warmed up to a, almost 60 degrees just barely touching 60 when i started to do that bee inspection yesterday but it made me really feel good to think oh my gosh all these bees look so strong and so healthy so glad to see it so i've always enjoyed feeding my bees some pollen powder when we get into mid-february here in illinois and again i really can't get too much activity from the sugar water that i give them right now i think they have plenty of stuff on board the winter bee kinds and their own stored honey but they do need some protein it's starting to raise a little brood perhaps they need that protein to help out a lot Hey guys, tomorrow I'm going to have a live stream. If you're watching this on the day it's published on Wednesday, be sure and tune in on Thursday. I'll leave a link in the description below for my live stream. I'm going to be talking about uh, raising queens a little bit more tomorrow during the live stream. I'll start off with my presentation on raising queens, and then I'll have a little bit of time to answer your questions. So be sure and look at the description below. Find the link for that live stream. My channel has a way of really attracting new beginners, and I really appreciate that. I'm here working hard for you guys, making videos to help you out. So I made a video, and it's about how to start beekeeping. So if you're scared, this is your first year to start this year. Watch this video. I'll see you over there.